da, da. Yeah, ours too. Da, da, da. What are you singing about? I'm happy. Well, then this going to be a good episode. Well, if you I, show I, up I, happy, you know, I like I, it. Yeah, you know, you it's already bad. been a good episode, but mm-hmm. they weren't recording. Well, one that, day we should just record what we do before the podcast. That, It'll be our ready. last one. That's yeah. right, getting ready. <laughs> Getting fired up. But it's always boys. so funny. It that, is. That'll be the coup de gras. That'll be that'll be that'll be like once we're done done, we'll just come out with another one. Hunter will probably come out with his own channel of like mm. what y'all didn't see. What y'all didn't see. And look, Hunter, I'm just here to tell you for as long as you cut me in on revenue share, I'm in. You can run it. I don't really care. So hopefully they'll leave five star reviews on that one. Yeah. That's but if you want to keep us going, leaving five star reviews on Apple android google spotify spotify amazon wherever you get your podcast that'll help and you know what we may even read some of them yeah like yeah. so if you throw a one star out there just be and be by, prepared we may read that one too we're not going to give you the credit of giving your name but and, and like, by the way to all you young females out there our boy hunter's looking for a woman so oh man you looking for a man send us a email uh, he's not scared to make about, eight hour drives to watch two yeah, movies yeah. So who knows what he'd do for a real lady that was yeah. just right. for barbie uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm for barbie i have a mic yeah. now he has a mic now I didn't know he had a mic a he's mic back now. baby oh <laughs> so i can defend myself and you guys uh oh, oh, that's fantastic all right sir where you at you had this hey, big look, long expose you wanted to do oh, no, with it. here's what we're gonna do today buckle okay. up okay the subject are, when are you youngsters going to start living? Are you talking to us? Yeah. You're the only youngsters I know. <laughs> okay. You talking about kids while ago. I, Y'all need to start living. I am living. No, you're not. What have you done that's noteworthy? Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. In your that's, life, that's, that's putting you, you on done? a spot, man. Uh, I've sat by Uncle Cy for two hundred and fifty well, no. some odd episodes. Yep. And I'll I'll give you an example. This, this man, Richard Hedrick, is this the book you read? Yeah. I've had a my, lot of people asking hey, that. Yep. It's about a most wonderful life. Okay. This is his his uh, bucket list fulfilled as of October fifth, twenty twenty. Okay. And I'll just read you a couple of them. Canoed the Mekong River from Cambodia through the jungles of Vietnam to the South China Sea. No thanks. I'm good. What do you mean no thanks? The Washtaw's very At least, close. Hey, this guy has been doing stuff. Hold on. Yeah. Can I read one? Yeah. Uh, number one, ambushed in Honduras. Hard pass. Yeah. Hey. Why, why is that a list? Like, that's not well, a hey, goal. It was just stuff he's had happen to <laughs> him. Uh, uh, in so his far, life. what I've heard are things I need to avoid. Ready for number three? Yeah. Uh, you go. wouldn't want to go through the jungles of, of, of uh, you know, the, on the Mekong River, the Delta? No. Why you've, not? You've told me all about it. People shooting at you and well, people hey, hiding I mean, underground. But, and... Hey, but it's a gorgeous country. Number three has literally been shot at, beat up, and cut with a knife. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's not a bucket list. That's that's things no, that have I, happened to that man. This is just Saturday night in Balkanville. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like. 34 or hey, I told y'all <laughs> about the Blue Dun- Dunby River in Budapest. The Blue Danube. Yeah, he, he cruised that. Danube, isn't it? Yeah, Danube. Yeah. Uh, Danube, whatever. Hey, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> the uh, newbie. You know, from the old country. I, over, I think hey, Simon crash, had it hey, before one, he got here. Here's, hey, here's one. Crash three airplanes. All right, my bucket list is to <laughs> never hey, crash an airplane, yeah. and I'm doing hey, a great job. Well, so. when he wrote this down, hey, that means he survived three crashed airplanes. Yeah, yeah. you know what that tells me? Yeah. Don't fly with him. I know a guy that's done it, too. Sat down like four of them. Wayne Peters, former boss of mine. I'm not getting in the plane with Wayne. I don't care if hey, he does know how okay, to land it. Here's better power. ones. Uh, hey, rode an elephant in the jungles of Thailand. I I could. That would be. Yeah, cool. but can't hey. we do it like it's a circus? Why we got to go to Thailand and do it in the jungle? Well, no. Right. Hey, look. This guy has lived. You ever heard the song One Night in Bangkok? Hey. Like, I want to go there. He's been over 91 countries and six continents. Wow. Well, good for him. Which continent did he not go to? Well, I don't know that. I just know he went to 91 countries. I'm going to guess Antarctica. Yeah. And look, he's traveled the globe <laughs> utilizing planes, trains, ships, boats, cars, canoes, trucks, buses, taxis, and motorcycles. Well, I've done all that. Multiple times. 
traveling to over 91 countries to six continents. Huh. So, so what have you done on this list? Uh, well, no, hey, I don't got I, a list like this. You need That's to get busy you, living, you, boy, man. You yeah. need to do it. But you, you survived uh, ambushes in Vietnam. Uh, get that, right. get that list. I'll say this. If we sat down and made your list, it would be... No, it, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that impressive, but it I would be that. That the golf course impressive. years. Because he's got, he's yeah. like Joe. He he was a millionaire, okay. He lost it, okay, in what nineteen ninety one, and then watch God give it back to him, okay. More more in ninety seven. How did he lose it? I, I, he, all I say is he. All he had was I lost it. Sound like he run into one of the wrong people hey, in Cambodia. Well, is that, is that hey. a, that old boy from Mississippi? Huh? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, uh, Hellfighters. Hell Fighters. Yeah, yeah, he's the one oh, that yeah. started the Hell Fighters ministry. Oh yeah, that's a really good man. He's, he's a good guy. He was a good guy. Yeah. He still is. Drank fresh camel's milk. Mm. Come on, I'm. No, mm. But it just, it impressed me what he's what Water. he's actually like. you know. No, it. This is this crazy. This guy has done a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He fell in quicksand, which I used to believe was going to be a way bigger issue. Oh, I've than done it really that. Is. I've done that near on Red River in Peru, where I've been to. Well, I've done that here in the United States. In quicksand. In Red River. Yeah. How'd you get out? Huh? I crawled out. Well, that's pretty slow quicksand, then. Well, hey, well, I mean, I just say. Hey. <laughs> I I just. Wow. He's been to Antarctica. Size uh, slept in six continents. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, and oh, I slept everywhere on airplanes and trains <laughs> and automobiles. Everywhere, and everywhere and I go, I've slept. And, oh, hey. uh, Which brings me to another point that I, I do. I think you'll find this interesting. So I, I got this in an email that has a correlation between naps and brain size. Mm. Did you know that if you take a nap? Every day from the age between 40 and 69. Done. You have. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> currently. Currently. <laughs> you statistically show to have a larger brain volume hmm. than people in that same age well, now, that don't nap. Well, no, no. You've got a question now that brought up. Since we are said by our great minds that the normal human being only uses 10% of his brain. Mm -hmm. Look what we've done, and we've only used ten percent of our brain. Yeah. Mm. What but if, look, you know, what would happen if we actually used like ninety percent? But look at it this way: you should have the largest brain volume for somebody your age because of how much you nap. Yeah, but hey, it's not that you have to nap, or it's not that oh, you no, want to nap. I enjoy you it. have to nap. Well, I enjoy it. Which may be the reason you and Phil, for y'all's age, are still in such good well, shape, because you nap every day. Well, no, no, because they always tell me, you know, so there's a lot of people, when they get older, they get dementia. Mm -hmm. I was, they say I was born with it. Well. Okay, that's why I, I live the way I live. I'll say this. Okay. Apparently, like, with having a larger brain volume, you go down in the risk of getting things such as Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. dementia, according to that study well, hey. that was sent in. So uh, here's what I'll tell you. Keep napping. I may institute it as Look, a practice I bet, here at the office. Hey, Everybody, I bet I ought to be in the in the world what a book of Genesis or whatever. Yeah, Genesis. That'll very work. Very different. Well, book. hey, what is that? What is it? Guinness? <laughs> Genesis is a different. Well, book. hey, anyway, you I should read it. You, too. Hey, I should be in that book because uh, hey, I know for a fact I'm the only man that's been like twenty four and a half years in the military. And I got a nap every day I was in the office. Do you think I we... still don't know how you pulled that off. Right. That, that's the most impressive oh, fe no. feat you've ever right. accomplished. I, well, hey, because I'm telling you, I had a guy that I, he was a mechanic in Vietnam. And I'm looking, and he's working on my forklift, rough train forklift, and it's big. You know? So he's standing up on top of it, and he's doing this, and it's getting slower and slower and slower, and he stops finally. And I watched him for about 45 minutes. He literally went to sleep while he was tightening a, a nut on a screw on my forklift. And then he fell off. He fell off the forklift. He, his butt hit the tire and shot him forward. And all he did was landed on his feet and shook his head. And he went on, went on to, the, to the mess hall to get something to eat. <laughs> what? 
So I si, si was doing Ninja Warrior things oh, no, before no, no, I was no. ever a show, no, no. man. He hit the tire. Yeah. Hit shot him tire. forward. No, no, it, it, it shot him forward. Landed on his feet. He landed on his feet, shook his head and tell me. He scratched his head. He said, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm thinking go get me a Pulled uh, the Taylor uh, Swift, shook it off, and yeah, kept walking. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the mess hall and get some of them sweet rolls that uh, the cook cooks. Yeah, oh, boy. And meanwhile, Si was the one watching the whole time. Bucket right. list fulfilled right there. Right. There you go. <laughs> Is that one on yours? No. No? no. Uh, well, let's take our first break. I was just impressed with the guy, what he had done in his lifetime. Okay. Yeah. He's done some stuff. Yeah. That doesn't. But he so built far. A, he built a cabin in, in Wyoming. Okay. There you go. Oh, no, there's, ca- there's some normal ones. Yeah. The, no. Oh, no. He's had some good stuff he done. Now, I like this. Stayed in trouble with the U.S. Customs for over 31 years. I like 51. Married the most wonderful lady in the world. He was always slipping into the countries, okay, especially. Good at your eyes. Smuggling (laughs) Bibles. Bibles in there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing. He was smuggling Bibles in the the countries that didn't want you talking about Jesus. Well, there you go. That's a good thing. That's good. That's a good thing. Which is kind of what we're doing via this podcast. Well, Anybody hey, can yeah. listen around the world. So. Well, hey, there you go. Hey, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Right. Si, there's been accusations that you may or may not have been drinking on the job. What, hey, what? Wait a minute. Been accusations? Yeah. They all expect that tea to not uh, be tea, sir. Yeah, 100%. Well, hey, this is a bunch of religious freaks that said that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, but, the reason I call them freaks is okay because God has never said I could not have a beer or a shot of whiskey. Now yeah. he's now he's done called people religious okay. freaks. Yeah. Well, hey, so regardless, saying, get you, HR on hey, the phone. You have you know, now. This is the time before you start running your mouth, get your facts straight. Well, you've now just right. taken up the rest of my evening well, talking to Bambi to figure out what we got to do about somebody that may or may not drink on the job so but the cool thing is i do get to talk to a dedicated hr manager with bambi and i don't have to go oh, see somebody go. who's here emotionalist so so look they're available by phone email and real-time chats so onboarding and terminations run smoothly team members reach peak performance hey, go, hey, go. i need you to reach well, peak performance hey that's one of the things always going for peak performance and your business stay compliant with changing hr regulations and with bambi's hr autopilot you'll automate important hr practices like setting policies training and feedback Look, and your dedicated HR manager is U.S.-based person dedicated to your business, giving you access to the HR expertise and personal touch you need. So, you know, you when you call customer service, a lot of time you don't know what you're going to get. You're going to get a U.S.-based person here. You can schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It will really help our show spelled BAM, B-E-E dot com, Bambi dot com, and type in Duck Call Room. And reach peak performance. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. I'm yeah. telling y'all, the brakes are solid gold, folks. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. But look, we're going to continue with our new method of uh, bucket, mixing bucket some things list. up. No, not bucket list. We're, we're going to inbox. Uh, the hello at duckcallroom.com okay. well, let's inbox. The, let's see what we, the people, I would, have been up to. Send me the weirdest thing you've ever done, by the way. Your bucket list fulfilled. And this one is actually perfect to do the voice notes. Yeah. Like, because it should be short and succinct. So, like, send us a voice note. We'll play your voice on the podcast. I once had an exhibit in the Louvre. You did? Mm hmm. I puked you everywhere because I was sick, but I had to see the Mona Lisa and then they roped it off. So, you know what? what the coolest thing I ever done? What? I was in a, in a TV P-row. show. No, I was in a P row. Mm hmm. And a Mallard Drake, Mallard Hen jumped up and I killed both of them. And hey, it was just like a cartoon. When I shot the Mallard Drake and he folded, I was underwater. I come back up, <laughs> shot the mile of him, okay, underwater again. <laughs> Anybody ever referred to you as a Christmas turkey? Hey, no, no, serious. That's what happened. You were underwater? Hey, in oh. nine foot P row. And hey, look, this is one of the things you don't ever do. Oh. When you're paddling this way, don't shoot like this. No. You got to shoot the way you're paddling. <laughs> Okay, because when you shoot uh, against the grain, you're going underwater. Oh. I legitimately don't understand how your eyes so, are brown. So the the uh, the Piro flipped all the way over. It all the way under. And then you pop back up. Pop back up. The mallard hen was going away, and I busted her. It killed her, too. Hey, 
I'm yeah. back on deck. Then he flipped again. Flipped again. And popped back up. And then just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, hey, I had to get a shot of oxygen, boy, when I got to come back up. <laughs> This is in the wintertime. All right, about that uh, inbox. It was in the winter. <laughs> yes, in the wintertime. Greatest. Uh, no, November, son. Storyteller of all time. All uh, right. He's fantastic. Mm. I don't he's know. Full of crap, but he's. You're crazy. not going to beat that. Don't even <laughs> try it. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. There ain't no Tommy yeah. Topper on this. I'm not. Buddy. No. Uh, <laughs> let's get heavy. Okay. Carrick heavy. from Kansas City, Missouri. He, no, ain't, he ain't heavy. He's my brother. That, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, it's not heavy, but he want the recent Jason Aldean controversy. Oh, oh, oh! I hey, we had to this. go into this. I hadn't heard this. Hey, try that in a small town. Try that in a small town. Um, so you don't know what happened. He has a song. People are labeling it as. Oh, song. he's got a bunch of songs. <laughs> <laughs> he's Jason Aldean for crying out loud. Yeah, okay. I, I did. She's country's one of them went to number one. Low, okay, low key. I know I, the lady that wrote it. Bridget this Taylor. morning, this morning, I saw the funniest meme I've seen yet to deal with it. And basically said, I don't find Jason Aldean's video to be offensive, but I do find labeling him as country to be offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I love and we it. can make these jokes. I love it, boys. Hey, he's, he's, he's a he's a friend. He's a friend. Hey, he's a right, friend. Anyway, so this, wait a minute. What's the controversy with the Jason? The song is basically uh, you want to hit somebody, you want to steal an old lady's car at a red light, pull a gun on a somebody that owns a liquor store. Hey, this ain't country. Try that. It, oh, cuss a cop, spit in his face, stomp on a flag. If you want to do all that, try it in a small town. That's the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Basically, all the stuff that's going on in the big cities, come try it yeah. in a small town and see what happened to and it. And apparently, that's, that's been labeled as bad. So they, they don't like it? I don't know who they are. They, well, oh, we all know who they, they are. They, they, here's <laughs> right. who I'll tell you. They ain't listening to us anyway. <laughs> yeah, no. they ain't listening to this. No. <laughs> so I can well, assure hey, you who I, they I, are. Hey, I hadn't even heard the song, but hey, I'll repeat. Yeah, hey. Come on here and try that in the country. There you go. So that's what that's yeah. what the song's about. Yeah. yeah. And now you know. Yeah. There you go. But people okay. are upset, labeling it as stuff Look. it's not. Yeah. You need people just you need to suck it up, boys. Mm -hmm. Try that okay. on Phil Pot Road. That's yeah. right. Try that around here. <laughs> try see that. What, and see what it gets you. Yeah. And you wouldn't get you know. very far. Even if you're just stealing stuff, you know. you'll end up with your face on social media and they'll you'll be you. identified hey, we, we believe in the constitution or in the country and right. consequences okay and we the people yeah. okay well here's okay, where so you'll run into problems when you go up against we the people so we're all okay because they're backed by smith and western <laughs> browning benelli benelli okay all the good hey, folks and these are just good old boys <laughs> trying to work you know and do what's right Correct. So uh, we're all no. in agreement so here. I, yeah. You'd be surprised. You're not. You're not surprised on oh, what hey. side of the song we fall on. Good for you, Jason Aldean. Sing another one, son. <laughs> yep. Give so me another verse of it. I so, low key want to call him. So Carrick emails in and says, uh, you know, at some point you heard it here on the podcast first. <laughs> He says, All right. we have All two right. main requirements. Love the Lord first and our neighbors as ourselves That's second. Right. Aim but two commands. But at some point, there's this line of our beliefs, and we have to love them, uh, but they're, oh. they're opposite of our beliefs. Oh, no, this order's from headquarters. This is order's from headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. I have to love you. Yeah. Okay, so, that's order's from headquarters. That's why, hey, if you're living a life that's contrary to the, 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 the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I'm going to tell you about it. And that's where it... So that's we, orders from headquarters. So here's the direct question. So when does trusting in the Lord and loving our neighbor and do what is asked of us biblically become not standing up for our beliefs, pushing back enough against the evil taking over our country, or towing the line of truth and not backing down? That's where he... Because he's like, I got to love these people, but also they... they, I totally believe the opposite of them. That's fine. Hey. They've been doing it since the beginning of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing has like, changed. It just generally breaks out in some kind of fight somewhere, and yeah. then like sides come to an agreement of this, that, the other. But I mean, you do. There's no two people that believe everything alike. So, no. and we all still love each other. Like, I mean, it's fine. But the problem is, is on those deals. Like, some people 
I'm trying to think of the right way to say this where we don't get flagged for something. Um, <laughs> um, I told you I was getting kind of... No, no, Hey, as long as you tell the truth. Yeah, but I'm trying to just say it. No, no, like, in a nice manner. Yeah, well, not even in a nice right. manner. I just don't want no. words to get flagged on, on things right. of... Like, I'm not worried about us. I care less, like, on that regard. But some people are a little less tolerant, maybe, is the word I'm looking for on that deal, of... They can't see it from another person's point of view, right, wrong, or indifferent. Like, I mean, some of that stuff, I'm like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. And then some of it, I'm like, well, you're dead wrong, but hey, my job is to show you why you're dead wrong, not to berate you because you're wrong. Yeah. Like, well, no, and, no, because hey, and, you've never won anybody. No. To your side, okay, by proving them wrong. No, 100%. It's not about that. Okay, it's not about proving you wrong. We can. There's some things that hey we're just gonna have to disagree on. Yeah, you've got your your ideal of what you like about it and stand for. I've got mine. Well, and I think people this new it's like Jesus loved everybody no matter what, but and he did. And when the woman was at the well and she had been living a terrible life of sin, he said, "Who's gonna throw the first rock?" That's right. Yeah. Go he for didn't. it. And he didn't, even though he had the opportunity yeah. to. But his next words to her weren't. Okay, I love you. Leave your leave your sinful lifestyle. And said, go and sin no more. That's so right. so you do have to point out sin. Yeah, hundred percent. But the point is he went to her in and a loving sit, manner. And didn't but didn't sit on the sideline judging her for what it, he went to like he that's was always my, That's why my favorite verse is John three, sixteen and seventeen. Sixteen everybody knows about. It. It's talking about okay, the savior of the world. Well, hey, 17 is, okay, if the one that saves everybody in this world did not come to judge you, then don't you put on the robes of judgment. Yeah, 100%. Because you're not qualified. He is qualified, okay, and he didn't do it, I and think he doesn't do it. I think it's the whole thing, too, of, like, where would where would Jesus have been with those things going on? What? Would he have been in the church condemning the people, or would he? No, have been because out? that's the reason they all screamed about him when he was when he was walking this earth. Which is the point? What I'm, are you doing with all them sinful people? There you go. He that's the reason he came, folks. He was boots on the ground in amongst yeah. it. Yeah. Not, not sitting on the side. You don't need. Hey, and, if you're healthy, you don't need a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you only need a physician when you've got ailments. Yeah. There you go. Well, that that's the thing about it. Let's use a little apply a little common sense that God Almighty put in you when it comes to dealing with people. We're all fall short of making the mark. Okay, that's why we need Jesus so much. You know. So hey, it's okay to disagree. Mm-hmm. You know. But still, try that in a small town. Try that. Well, you got to yeah, stand yeah. up for what you well, believe. Well, yeah. no, there's a time, okay, that you can't let but it go by. I think the other thing people get it confused with when you hear the word "stand up for what you believe," they associate that with violence. That doesn't mean that you have to be violent. No, no. Nope. you can just say hey, that stuff will not be tolerated here. Go somewhere else. I can tell that's you in a up loving what you manner. In. Like, okay, that's the reason I the, tell the you. The Aldean deal is is pretty simple, straightforward. They're condemning him for condemning criminals. It's that simple. If you condemn yeah. a criminal, mm -hmm. there's you're a racist or whatever. Yeah, you know they they will try to get you for it. Criminal behavior is has become mainstream. It's these out days. and dealing it's, uh, dealing with that currently right now in the theft and all that. The sad part is we live in a country where they have more rights than we as the person who were stolen from. That's right. Well, that's what always gets you know. That's okay, wild. we. We kick we kick God out of the schools because of one person said, "Hey, I don't want to see you pray." Mm. I always go back to, "I hey, wait a minute, what about our Constitution? It starts out we the people." <laughs> yeah, not one person. This is a community, okay? And we allowed we allowed it. We allowed one person to say, "Oh, I don't like that." So we kicked him out. Well, guess who moved in when God left? The evil one. 100%. And he's been moved in ever since. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, well, hey, there's enough. You know, like I said, sometimes you just got to stand up and draw a line in the sand and say, hey, no, I'm not going to budge on this. Hmm. Then the main reason is, okay, that's orders from headquarters. You know, the percentage of people homeschooling their kids and doing online school has oh. skyrocketed. Oh, yeah. And that is the reason. Yeah, because you, you can't trust our system, okay, because, hey, here's the deal. Teach it all. Yeah. Teach it all. Evolution, Bible, all of it. And I'll make up my mind what I'm going to believe in. Okay? That's what this Constitution is about. We the people, you know. Okay, our founding fathers, and look, they they put it in concrete. If you go to our capital, Washington, D.C., and everywhere you go, it's written in stone what the Almighty has said because they don't want you to forget it, for crying out loud. And, hey, unfortunately, the American people have forgot it. Okay, and, hey, like all of us, we're not rocket scientists. Sometimes we have to be reminded. <laughs> Do it in a caring and loving way. Amen. We got sheets, we got slippers, we got the my pillow towel. Towels. It'll get you dry. Yeah. Mm. They ain't no cheap hotel towel. No, they ain't. And you know it ain't because guess what? They're celebrating their twenty year anniversary. You ain't in business twenty years if you make a jump. Happy no. anniversary. You it just don't happen. And look, Michael and Dale and all the folks over at My Pillow wanna say thank you by giving the lowest price in the history of the company. That's wild, man. In the history of my pillow. And I thought prices were going up. Yeah, not them. Not they're, them, baby. They're negative inflation. Some would call it deflation. Deflation, uh, you know? baby. I Mike mean, Lindell, model American. Model American. If you if you love America like Mike, you could end up on a pillow too. But look, queen size my pillows are regularly priced at sixty nine ninety eight. Right now, you can get them for only nineteen ninety eight, and for ten dollars mm. more, get you a king. So That's if you want to be fifty dollars off. If you want to be a king or a queen, they got you. Look, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio podcast square to get Mike's amazing offer on queen size MyPillow for only nineteen ninety eight, or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK. MyPillow's patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs to help you get the best sleep ever. And in, in addition to the special anniversary offer on the pillow, you're going to get deep discounts on all the my pillow products. So all of them. whether you're interested in pet bed, slippers, slippers, my. so much more. Don't tell Brittany them slippers are on sale. I do I don't we don't need mm. another pair. The hers still work fine, but you know women in shoes, it just happens. It happens. So look, but today, take advantage of the biggest sale in my pillow's history. All you have to do is go to mypillow.com or call 800 969 3137 and use promo code DUCK. To take advantage of Mike's special offer on his MyPillow. <laughs> That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK, or call 800-969-3137. What else okay. you got in that inbox, Johnny D? Oh, it was a fun one. Yeah, it was I was fun. trying to get us on a, the, the Clove Awards. Hey, I like it. All right, I got one from Hunter from Pennsylvania. Uh-oh. Sounds familiar. Hopefully he don't have Definitely your problem, Hunter. Is this not you? Not me. <laughs> oh, it ain't him, boys. All right. It says okay. girl trouble. Uh-oh. Here it's we go again. That's a universal problem. It, it might be Hunter. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering how you would cope with the Proverbs 31 woman of my dreams saying she will never see me as more than a friend. I've known her for a few years. We both go to the same church. Our church family as a whole is quite close. Cares for her greatly. He's torn up, though. Never had any luck at all with girls, and I thought it would be a perfect match if she were the one. I see her and talk to her all the time. I'm still young, 22 years old. Uh, I'm praying for guidance and patience, but if y'all have any advice or could give me a laugh or two, I'd appreciate it. Mm. Hunter, this right. isn't you. That's not you, Hunter. I swear right. to God. He's got the me. same last name as you right. is the thing. I, I understand how that looks. <laughs> right. but that's I like not it me. for one reason. <laughs> I like it because the boy says, hey, I've been praying about it. Mm -hmm. Number one, you're taking it to the right person, okay? And number two, hey, if that's the one of your life, hey, hey, hang on, dude. 
That's all I can say. <laughs> Hang, on. Hang on and fight for what you want. Uh, it's not a case where you prayed for it, you got your right. answer, and you ain't willing to accept the answer. Yeah. That's right. Well, hey. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Wait a minute. I mean, I'm just uh, saying, like, I'm guilty of that, too. Like, yeah. pray for something, you get the answer, you're like, I don't like that answer. Well, well. <laughs> hey, hold, hold on now. It's like. But you well, just got to be willing well, to I, accept I, the answer. Yeah, but hey, the Lord may be putting uh, I'm, by testing him a little bit. I'm not. I'm not discounting that either. Yeah. But I can also tell you, she's not the only Proverbs 31 well, woman hey, in the world. Well, Ooh. there you go. So, hey, like, hey, there's more there of them out there. Yeah, there's a um, lot of fish in the sea. It's time yeah. to move on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you asked. Hey. She told you, and like you have to. If you really potentially want to win her, you have to respect that boundary she just put up with you and move on. That's right. And then maybe circle back to it. Oh, well, that being said, that being said, if you want a high grade woman, you got to make yourself a high grade man. Uh oh. So we get in we getting into this high maintenance now. No, 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 high grade. High grade. Very big difference. Do everything you can to make yourself desirable. Yeah. Get in there, exercise. You can only do you can only do so much. And like Martin was saying, okay. You may not like the answer. Oh. Okay. There's a lot. But, this this, man, this is a young man in his prime. Yeah, yeah. He can he can transform himself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At Get 22. in there and make yourself. Well, I would just say, well, hey, if yo, know, if that's the one I want, well, I'm not gonna give up easy. Yeah. You keep trying, keep trying, okay. but that you got to yeah. respect the boundary yeah. she oh, put yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Keep trying. The boundary yeah. has been made. You can't call her next week and say you changed your mind. Yeah, uh, that, because, now like, you're annoying. What, whatever, yeah. whatever he's been doing, it ain't working. Yeah. yeah. So it's time something. to try something else. Yeah, that's all I was. What'd you say, Si? Get what'd you say? Get, quit beating that horse. He's dead. That's right. Hey, go ahead and bury him. Get you another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you got to be like the Apaches. Okay, run that one to death, and then I get you another one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a metaphor, folks. <laughs> it's a well, metaphor. Yeah. 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 Very I'm much a saying, metaphor. I'm just uh, saying. Hey, you learn a lot of way from watching westerns. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. right. Oh. That's funny. That's you got to move on. Yeah, I think Martin gave him. You know, well, he gave him, and he gave him good advice. You get yeah. in the gym, get make yourself more desirable, get to work. Yeah. Get the but, make yourself you're young, make yourself successful in life. Start hustling. Start yeah. hustling. Uh start, you know, you know, there's not if she's a Proverbs 31 woman, there ain't nothing more attractive than a man that looks like Jesus to her. Yeah. I mean. So, start start on that train. And she'll notice and what stone was saying jason Sai used to pound into every, the definition of insanity is if you keep, keep doing, doing the same, same thing, thing expecting it, a different result yeah so do something different yeah, yeah. hey change, you gotta you change gotta it change. be your friend hey become What's a player be become your a friend? player is all i like to tell you <laughs> oh well, hey <laughs> hey look i'm just saying like uh, it is boys hey <laughs> Find your new girl. If that didn't work out, hey, it's time to go to say. Oh, I will say, boy. me and Allison started dating other people, and that's pretty much when we realized, hey. nope, head on back. There you head go. Back to boy, each other. you got lucky if there. If yeah, I did. Hey, that's what I told my wife. <laughs> it, it took me about 14 hours to convince my wife that, hey, yeah, we're supposed to be together. Long as 14 hours of her life, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. right. 14 oh, hours. Wow. I think that's when she just gave up, telling me, hey, this idiot ain't ever going to give up. So well, there you that's go. terrible advice, well, Hunter, from Pennsylvania. Well don't do that. Yeah, that's right. and uh, for whatever reason, don't don't body slam this one either. It's <laughs> yeah. like yeah. she's had enough. Yeah. So. No, yeah. <laughs> Let's no. take a break. We'll be back. Yeah, right you're not going to go to jail over that one. We can do our bucket list. Well, what else, what else you got? It. We can. Do, what is on your bucket list? Huh? Well, right, so know. let's talk about a bucket list. Let's bucket talk about list. a bucket list. Now that we've answered most of the world's problems, bucket list. Well, I wish that all the boys that are having girl troubles, <laughs> it all works out. I don't think that can thanks. be on your bucket list. <laughs> but Hunter just said thanks. <laughs> well, I just, hey, hey. Uh, Oh boy, Hunter, do uh, you got time? How old I, are you? I, not do, do what? How old are you? I'm 22. 20. Oh. I turned 23. Oh, I'm telling you, that's his email. It's not my hey, email. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now I see why you're very confused. 22. 22. You got days to confuse, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was married at 22. Oh God, I was not. If I was, I'd have been divorced at 23. How old were you <laughs> when you got married? I was not ready yet. <laughs> 
Uh, Neither was I. That's a good question. Probably 24, so I think. Yeah. 24. Yeah, how old are Well, you're, yeah, because y'all just did 50. Yeah. We just celebrated yeah. 50. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You, how old were you? 29. 29? 28. 28. And I wasn't ready for marriage when I got married. Yeah, nobody is. They don't. Well, they don't tell you that part. Yeah, they don't, yeah. Even at twenty nine, yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. written. No, 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 wrong, incorrect, mm-hmm. wrong." It's yeah, like, I, was, I got a great idea. Let's take two totally selfish people and put them together, yeah, and make them yeah, live together. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. great, great, wonderful yeah. grand. That's then, on my bucket list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then try to live together, together, <laughs> and, and, and then reproduce in harmony. Yeah, like, you know. But I will, I will say this: when you have kids. You become way less selfish. Oh, hundred percent. Well, even as we were just married, you become way less selfish. Like you start putting needs of her, and she does the same. She puts needs of you in front of hers, yeah, and like you, that, you start, you build the team. Well, like that you, didn't happen to me. She didn't do that. Oh well, <laughs> well sorry. Well, she's Robertson. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. She got his blood in her. So. You, know, you know the Robertson motto: uh, Every man for himself. And that includes the women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. But bucket list. Is there one thing like you haven't done that you want to do? Like, is there is there that one thing? I mean, because you're realistic. Like, yeah, not giraffe riding. Not really, because like when people say, "Hey, your birthday's coming up. What do you want me to get you?" I said, "Hey." Well, I'm not talking. No. I'm talking about like that train ride through West Virginia you talked about. Well, no, no, because like. stuff like that, I would, I wish I would take the time to do. See, mm. that's what we right. ought to do for you. We ought no, to get him I, a ticket on a. Well, train. no, no, because like I just went to uh, Creed, Colorado. Okay, that was an adventure. Did it take you higher? Oh, yeah, I and mean, if you got if you got breathing problems, you don't want to go higher. <laughs> Okay, because I, I stayed on the oxygen bottle the whole time I was up there. No, no, I'm serious. But it's, it's, you know, how people can go on this earth and see all the different uh, geographic locations mm-hmm. and all the beauty of God's creation, and they can't see that there has to be a creator after seeing something like that, I don't get it. Yeah. I really don't. I don't get it. Because these, these are mountains up there. And, you know, some of them amaze me because some of them are solid rock. There's nothing growing on it. Then there's some of them that are mountains, okay, and it's growth. Everything's on it. Elk running everywhere. Uh, you know, the ram, sheep, all everywhere you look. You know, so I, I just, you know, I wish I had the time because when I get to heaven, that's what I'm gonna first ask Jesus, Lord. I want to take about a year. Well, you got a while, <laughs> and go and see the rest of what you've created. Mm-hmm. Okay, because we've only we only get just a little snippet of what you know with our travels. Yeah. Yes. I got bad news. What? I I think once you get to heaven, you ain't gonna want to come back and look at this place, right? Like it's gonna be one. No, no I, I think I he's thinking Jesus got like a book blueprint up there. Like, uh, let's go. Oh. Let's go take a look. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go look. Let's, at, let's go it, slide let's go around. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Last place I want to come back is here. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I ain't worried about. It. Hey, right. this is gonna burn up. Come back to this so, hellhole. Yeah. Okay. Are you kidding? <laughs> he's already got like, the new one in place. He's, he's okay. He's working on it. I mean, oh, no, that's, yeah. the new one's already there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the line to come back. No. In heaven is very. No, hey, I'm gonna be going forward. Yeah. Let's into the, hey, and what's the, the movie? Into the future. I think it's back. Back to the future. Back to the future. <laughs> well, hey, back to the future? No, that's stupid. Uh, back boy. to the future. Hey, All right, Stone, 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 you got a bucket list, I'm sure. What? What? What's one? What, oh, what's... Well, I've always wanted to go to Alaska. That yeah, and go on a moose hunt. Oh, moose are cool. You remember my uncle Max moose that he had in his living room? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that thing was awesome. I, that's a big now, now y'all have brought up the one I want to do. Oh, here I, we go. I, I figured bucket, you'd steal one of ours. Hey, when a stone goes to shoot a moose, I'm going to go up there and pay him for gold. <laughs> I'm going with you. I, no, I'm no. sorry. They need I'm, to I'm film it along. for the no, next no, I flew in. I flew over to Alaska when we went up there with uh, uh, Billy Graham's son. Franklin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Said, yeah. When I was up there on his island in Alaska. Okay. 
And and every time I would fly over and I'd see a little stream coming down the side of the mountain, I said, ooh, I wish I was right there panning for gold right now. You got the gold fever. I got the gold fever, boys. I actually marked one off my list this past week, which is kind of cool. What did you do? I found an arrowhead. I've always wanted to just be walking and find an arrowhead, and I, f- I did. No. I've, got a, yeah. I've got a cousin, Mac Hobbs. He donated it like 10000 Good grief. To, to LSU. Is he the one that found the He ca- found the stupid canoe the that canoe. I looked for the whole time I lived on Red River. Stuck out of the side of a stupid cliff. Yeah. 30 man warrior canoe made out of a giant cypress tree. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like oh, no. all that stuff Look, is, his, is really his, cool. His arrowhead collection, this is, he's, he's like a magnet for it. He shot one deer, big 12 point. <laughs> Goes down there and look at his deer, and he looks over there laid on the ground, and here's about eight, nine inch broken uh, spear head. Yeah. Well, two years later, he's back in the same area, deer hunting again, kills another big buck. Goes down there and looks over there on the ground, and here is the other half of that spear. <laughs> He goes home. He said, this can't be it. Goes home, pulls it out of the drawer, just put it together. Okay. And now it's like a spearhead. It's like 18 inches long. So he killed a big 12 point. Found a half first half. Found, and then he killed another big buck. And there, in the and same the, area, uh, just a different stand. And it was laying Found the there. other half of that stupid spear. Yeah, mine wasn't that cool. Mine was the area. <laughs> but his arrowheads, whoever the Indian was that made them, he was a master craftsman. Yeah. That's what I thought about this. Because this was, was out of Flint. I don't and know I, what this thing made of. I mean, son, you put you do that, it, it, it'd be like a razor blade. It sliced your finger open. Mm. And he had he had all sizes. He had like ones for deer, for elk, for birds, little old bitty things, you know. Yeah, but, but them, it them's, was just, them's gonna be hard to find. All right, no, and look, he had like <laughs> ten thousand of these stupid things. That's cool. He had found tomahawk heads, you know, that was made out of the uh, flint. You know, where and this guy, uh, like I said, the Indian that put these, that made these, was a master craftsman. Knew what he's doing. Mm. Oh no, well, his life depended. It, it was, on. it was yeah. beautiful. You yeah, know? I was like my uncle. One of them, he used to make all kinds of fly baits. You know, out of stuff he killed. Squirrels, ducks. Squirrel tail. Yeah. He had a whole whole tackle box full of stone, homemade stuff. And just, yeah, you know, I wish I had it today. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because it was, you know, he made, he handmade every bit of this stuff. Did you see my airhead, John D? Where? I sent it to you. Oh, my bad. No, I was just showing it oh. to you. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Oh, you did. That's a yeah, good one. It's neat. Where'd yep. you find it? That is oh, a good boy. one. I didn't say. Oh. No, I it was over there by where we was duck hunting. I was doing a deal, and I looked down. And I I asked them. I said, "All right, which one of y'all messing with me?" And they said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Ain't nobody here messing with me." Yeah. I was like, "They said no. What? Why? What?" And so I kicked the dirt and rubbed my foot back, and that's what I come up with. I said, "I've always wanted to find one of these," hmm. and I found that one. So I don't know what it's made out of, but it was I don't know. It was one of them deals. I was walking, and I felt something weird up under my foot, and so I. I shoved the dirt oh, back no. real quick, and I was like, no, no. Did I really? That's cool. There it was. And there oh, it was. As much time as I've stomped on that piece of ground, and I ain't ever. Well, I think so, because down at Phil's house, yeah. on them bluffs, you dig around in the dirt down there, you find our heads, pottery, yeah. Yeah, I all ain't. kind of stuff right there at his house. Yeah, you're going to end up finding the end of a barrel of a shotgun until you get to digging in the wrong place so i stay away from that <laughs> you don't feel some pressure up against you like now what's that but well hey we'll take a break and then johnny d you get, i mean i just marked one. Oh, I, I, I might have i sent johnny d a, i got a good one a, i sent johnny d a video the other day he, he yeah you need to show side of that yeah. when we get back all right let's take a break we'll be back right after this so you'll you'll get you'll enjoy this one. All right, John. Oh, hold, on. hold on, hold on. Oh, this coincides with my uh, bucket list. What is it? We petting a black panther or something? No, oh. but uh, here we go. Big animals are on my bucket list. That was oh, like, what is that? That's a mule deer and a mountain lion. 
No, nah, that's a black panther. There ain't nothing about him He's black. Walking, he the same he's color as the mule deer. That, it seems like there may be something that's super imposed. Some, uh, yeah. Something, yeah, something ain't right here. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying. Uh, like, I don't know it, how. It's because that deer kind of fades away uh -huh. at the end right there. Yeah. yeah kinda, uh. And you see some stuff like, yeah, yeah. But I do like that comment. Young bucks like cougars. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, I, hey, I, it was uh, it was in Alabama. Uh, what that? That no, ain't no. in Alabama. I, I was staying uh, in a guy's house in Alabama when I got out of the military, and I'm looking, and it was the biggest skunk I've ever seen. I mean, this thing looked like a uh, uh, what's a badger? Yeah, he looked like a badger. That's how big he was. And just, he had more white on him than I've ever seen, too. What? Well, he comes walking down the mountain, you know, and, and like 10 minutes after he come walking down the mountain, here comes a deer that's following this stupid skunk's trail. <laughs> he had his head down smelling, you know, and he he was walking right where the skunk walked. You know, I, I busted, I shot him. Six point. <laughs> yeah, you know, just crazy. I, I thought you shot the skunk. No. Oh, no, you don't want to shoot a skunk. No. All right, Johnny D. I like Bucket that. list. Are you trying to be the third one in that line? Is that one of yours? That or? would be fun. Oh. I definitely don't want to be in the front of that line. <laughs> yeah. No, I would go to, to Africa. Mountain line. Africa? Yeah. And safari, and then get on one of them boats with one of them fake seals and oh. drag it behind you until that great white oh. comes down. Oh, yeah. That's, I'd like to see that in person. Yeah, that'd be hey. a cool topwater bite. How would you like, <laughs> awesome. no, no, how would you like to do what this guy did, okay, out of a hot air balloon when the, the wildebeests are doing their 5,000-mile trek? Oh, yeah, he Richard, watched that. Richard was in a hot air balloon while they're under him doing just millions of them hmm. or doing that 5,000-mile trek. He's, huh? follow, he's following them. Hot air, hot air balloon. Hot air balloon kind of creeps me out. Yeah, I think that I, would be cool. I think I'd rather be in one of them Toyota vehicles they got there, you know, with gas now, and tar. I'd, hey, I'd like to be up in a hot air balloon. Yeah, yeah. See, Especially I could, when they come to the river where the crocodiles are waiting on them. Yeah, what happens if you run out of hot air right there? <laughs> well, hey, you go in the river. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. You, and then you become hors d'oeuvres for the saying, gators. Guess what's, fast, the guess what's faster than me? A wildebeest. Hey, mm -hmm. like, hey. I've seen Lion King. <laughs> you do not want to get mixed up. No. Hey. I, and I, yeah. In the middle of a stampede. No, that's a bad deal. Not even no. Mufasa got out of that no, one. No, couldn't do it. I would love to see the wildebeest, though. But that's a cool Africa. The other one, what I was going to say, I really, at some point, hope I get the nerve to take the flight to New Zealand because I, mm. I just think it's a cool place. I ain't even got to go down there and hunt. But Oh, no, I'm not hunting like, in Africa. I would no, no. like to see that just because of all the red stags that are on, on the islands. Yeah, I just want to see it. In just period. Like, gigantic. even. Yeah, like, I, I mean, think it's monster. a cool. Not Lord of the Rings, the real thing. Yeah, the real thing. Yeah. Like, and, you know, I just think it would be cool. And even maybe even Australia, but like New Zealand would be the. New Zealand's where you're going? Yeah, that's a cool one. I'd like to go to Africa mm. on a safari. I'm a safari. And see all the, see all the, all the animals of Africa. Well, yeah. The, the prettiest place I've ever been is the, the Azores. Okay. The yeah. islands off the coast of Portugal. Mm hmm. Beautiful place. Is it? Beautiful. Yeah, I could dig that. I could, I could they had, dig. They had bullfights. I mean, it was. You've been to a bullfight? Oh, yeah, in, in the Azores. Was that the coolest thing ever? Yeah, it was pretty doggone cool. <laughs> Would you ever run with the bulls? Me? Like anybody. Really? No. 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 I would, like, be on one of them balconies watching. <laughs> but I don't know if you've seen me Yeah, sprint. I don't want to be in the streets. <laughs> I'm I'm slow for a human being, still, so I'm still, real slow for a bull. They still do that? The running of the bulls? Oh, or, yeah. Or they, like, deem that animal abuse no. or something? No, I they still do it. I was just curious. In the world in which we live in, I just didn't know. Yeah. I saw a video of somebody getting decked by one the other day. It was awesome. I just wonder who the first person said, you know what we're going to do? No, no. We're about to close this street off. Y'all take off. We're going to turn them loose. Yeah. Everybody start running. Yeah. 
Or if it was just an accident and somebody made it out and said, oh, we need to make that a competition. Boy, that was <laughs> fun now that yeah. this is over. Yeah, now that now that we made it. Hey, here, we, here we go. Oh, so, uh, hey. yeah. running with the bulls. Hey, look at that. Look at them horns. I, I mean. Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. Yeah. But see this guy up here watching? I'd do that. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, I mean, it's kind of hey. basically that's the same thing right. happens every other night on Bourbon Street. That's, man, like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You know. There's some big people down that's there. Right. They do not care if you're in their way. No. Them big old longhorns, boy. Uh, big cows. What? Yeah. Like, wait, oh, they done got broke up into two herds. Mm. Why are y'all in between them? That's a sandwich. That's a bad deal. Hey, I'd be. Mm. First thing I'd do is I'd grab them horns and be on their back. Oh, yeah. I bet you no, would. But it won't be no running. Yeah, I bet you I'm going to ride, boys. Something tells me you'd be laid up in a puddle like no. that one boy oh, was no. over I'd be, I, I'd be riding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. Cowboy. You would jump on wild. I'd it jump run. on them, buddy. Mm-hmm. Hey. Forget about running in front of them or with them. Hey, I won't oh, I believe the man, the man got in a monster truck and, hey. that's true. and put the pedal to the metal. Hey, to the floor. I'm about 20 feet in the air, son. Yeah, he did stay in that thing on the end. Which, yeah. All right, yeah. I was trying to turn it over. <laughs> I scared Slim so bad he hit the remote kill switch on me. I could have just killed him, too. Well, do you blame him? Uh, no. Hey, well, what do you, you mean? Can't, yeah, I blame him. You can't die on his watch. Hey, hey, my... Yeah. My moment of glory, and he kills it. I well, think you've you had mark. a few more moments of glory than yeah. that, buddy. Yeah, you can mark <laughs> that one off your bucket list. Yeah. yeah, check that one off, driving a monster truck. So Johnny D's going to Africa. I'm trying to look up how much it costs right now. It ain't that bad. I know a guy. Who? That does photo safaris, John Hafner. He just was on this photo shoot that we did for Magellan. Yeah, that. tell him to take Oh, he, he does that? Yeah, Hafner does, yeah. Does African photo safaris. I got 100 kids and a wife, though, so I, they got to go, too. Well, he can get you your own cabin. Hey, hey if, you, if you rig it up. Take him with you. Include me in on it. All right. Only if you pay 101 half. kids and a wife. Uh, I got <laughs> hey, hey, forget, forget the kids, boys. Uh, yeah, I think my kids. We're going to Africa. My kids would be very disappointed if I came uh, home and was like, guess where I was? Everything you've ever wanted to do. Yeah, well, wild well, you, rhinos. They got to learn they don't always get what they want. <laughs> well, that's fine, <laughs> that's but right. I, on this one, I feel like I should I should take them with me. No. Yeah, you probably should. Hey, I might, I, talk, I might talk to somebody about this. Now that I, thought, I just thought of that. Pipeliner? Yeah. You're going to say, hey, have yeah. you ever wanted to go to yeah, Africa? Me, hey, have you ever <laughs> been wanting to go to Africa there, hey, hey Randy? Hey, Sell it to him. We can do a uh, a duck call room from the African yeah, plane. Yeah, from the plane. Oh, that he just he just the, uh, the Serengeti. You don't want to go to the plains. He just take us all. Yeah, you're in the dry season in the Serengeti. Mm. I don't know about that. That no. sounds like oh, no. a fire. That's when no. the wildebeest do their track. Yeah, I'm fine it's, with that, but I, that sounds like a fire waiting to happen. Oh, I'm no, out no, on no, that. No. Oh, there is, but I it it, it works out good. For oh, me man, you had that shark boat ride in, it gets yeah. pricey. <laughs> We're going to have to keep this podcast going, and more people are going to have to start listening. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, maybe you get. That would be a trip, though, Jay. But maybe you get to South African Africa redneck see, to take you. And see all the, all the, the wildlife yeah. in Africa. But no, like Devin that used to work on our show, he he's the one that films all that air jaw stuff. I oh, want to yeah. go to that Zambezi uh, lodge, hunting lodge, that's got the fruit tree on it. And the elephants come in and eat the fruit and then just wander through the the lodge. No. Oh, no. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> no, I'd, 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 oh, no. I'd, I'd prefer the I'd elephant to stay oh, out no, of my no, sleeping no. quarters. Imagine go. seeing there that. There is a great white, boys. He got a seal in his mouth. Yeah, Chapo ain't got nothing on that. Yeah, Ooh. Great white. Oh, and yeah. And then the big five, that would just be fun. Just uh, Chapo is pretty good, but it ain't that. It, it ain't that. Like air jaws. That's you that's, talking about a killing machine. What's that? A great white? That that shark. Mm-hmm. That is a killing machine. Well, I have a hard if stance. He, hey, if he breaks a tooth, they're on they're on a a chain roller. That's why I. If stay he breaks out of, one in the front, it falls out what's left, and then he runs a brand new one in its place, and then they grow in the back. He's never without. His teeth. Well, that's why he's so ornery. I'm telling you. Hey. Got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, he don't need no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that baby. Hey. Oh, oh man. You're talking, hey, about, Johnny you're talking D. about a killing machine. Johnny D, send us home. Hey. <laughs> hey. Right here. What we got? 
Oh, I was I was pulling it up and now I've lost it. Uh oh, he pulled it up and lost it. Does it have anything to do with playing? Well, when we find it, we're gonna have a party. Yeah. That's All right, here we go. John yeah. chapter eight. Uh, at this, those who heard begin to go away one at a time. He just, Jesus just said, "Why don't y'all go ahead and start throwing rocks?" Go away one at a time. The older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Says, where are your accusers? Jesus straightened up and asked her, "Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir," she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Go and declare no more. Go now and leave your life of sin. It's a very important part of the story. Mm. Amen. There you go. Right. If he didn't condemn, why should we? And quit all that sinning. Yeah. Right. Stop it all. Cut it out. We'll see y'all right. next time. Right Stop it. Call room. We're out. <laughs>